Hello, my name is Mike Ranieri. I'm here with another Redfish School video, and today we'll be talking about certificate management with Redfish. The agenda for the video will begin with the model map for certificate management, and then we'll step through each of the resources involved with certificate management, and then end with a couple of common use cases. There are four resources defined for certificate management. We have our certificate service hanging off a of service route, and subordinate to that, we have our certificate locations resource. We also have certificate collections and certificate instances defined to be subordinate to various devices, user accounts, or other types of resources. The certificate service off of service route contains the service level actions for managing certificates. There are two actions defined today, generate CSR, which is used to perform certificate signing requests, and replace certificate, which is used to provide an atomic approach for deleting and adding certificates. We also have certificate collections. This allows users to perform the standard create and delete operations for managing certificates. And the collections are added to resources that can have certificate installed to it. The location of the collection will inform the client about the relationship between the certificate and other resources in the data model. So for example, if you find a certificate collection subordinate to a manager account, the certificates within that collection will be the identity certificates for that manager account. This is also gives us the ability to control access to different certificate collections based on privilege levels. So for example, Config yourself could be used to indicate that you're allowed to manage certificates related to your own user account. Configure manager could be used to indicate you're allowed to manage certificates for a given um, manager in the system. And configure components might mean that you're allowed to manage certificates for computer systems. The certificate locations resource contains links to all the certificates so that administrators and auditors can get a complete set of certificates in a single location. So this is an example certificate service resource. It largely contains an actions property that has our two standard actions, generate CSR and replace certificate. And then we also have our certificate locations property, which points to the certificate locations resource. For performing a certificate signing request, a client would post to the generate CSR action target. And within the body of the post request, there are various parameters that map back to X509 related uh, properties such as country, state, city, organization, organizational units, common name, and so on. We also have a couple of properties for managing the type of key pair used with that certificate. So key pair algorithm and key bit length are used to perform that. So you can control whether it's an RSA type of key, elliptic curve, and also other parameters associated with that key pair. And then there's also a certificate collection uh, property, which is used to tell the service where the certificate will be installed once it has been signed by the uh, certificate authority. The response to the action contains two properties. We have the CSR string, which is just the PEM encoded format for that certificate signing request. Um, that string is ultimately given to a uh, certificate authority for signing. And then we also have the original certificate collection that the client is going to be installing the certificate on. The replace certificate action is used to perform a, an atomic delete followed by create operation for replacing a single certificate. And so a client would post to the replace certificate uh, action target and within the body, it would provide three properties. You would have the certificate URI, which uh, tells the service which certificate is going to be deleted. You, and then you have certificate string and certificate type, which is used to encapsulate the certificate payload um, that will be replacing that certificate. So certificate type tells the service the format of the um, certificate string. So in this case, we have PEM, meaning it's just a PEM encoded X509 certificate. And then we have certificate string, which contains the, the contents of the certificate. The response contains the location header for the new certificate that was created on the service. For certificate locations, uh, this is an example resource uh, showing that. Um, it really just contains a links object with the certificates array that shows all the certificates that are managed by this service. So in this case, there are three certificates found on this service. 
We have um, one for the HTTPS service for a BMC. We have one for an account named Jim. And then we also have one for the LDAP service. The certificate resource contains two properties that are required on create. You have certificate type and certificate string. Certificate type will, will inform the service the format of the certificate string property. On subsequent get requests, uh, the other properties are, are just decodings of fields on the certificate string. So things like uh, the issuer and subject information, the validity date, and the key usage. Um, if there's any private part of the certificate, that needs to be removed from the uh, responses from the service. So uh, one of the common use cases is uh, installing a new certificate from a new CSR. And so in this case, um, a user would perform the generate CSR action. And behind the scenes, the service will retain the private key used with that action. Uh, the user takes the response and has it signed by the appropriate authority. And so this step is outside the scope of Redfish. And it may be that uh, the user has to uh, submit a request with their IT organization to um, have a uh, certificate uh, generated based on the signing request. Once that certificate has been created, the user will then navigate to the appropriate certificate collection. So for example, if you're trying to replace the HTTPS certificate on a manager, you would navigate to the manager certificate collection that has the, uh, that is subordinate to the network protocol HTTPS object. And then you would perform a post on that certificate collection with the certificate string in that body. And again, behind the scenes, the service will, will find that original private key using the first step with, a, with the installed certificate. One other type of workflow would be that you have a certificate that is pre-generated. And so this might be because you have an, uh, a policy within your organization that um, all systems need to be installed with this uh, given certificate. Since you already have the certificate in hand, you would simply navigate to the appropriate certificate collection. So like before, if you're going to replace the web service certificate for the manager, you would go to the manager certificate collection that is subordinate to the HTTPS protocol within the network protocol resource. And then you would perform a post on the certificate collection with a cert certificate string in the body. In this particular case, you might need to provide the, um, the private key that, that was or originally came with that certificate. And so you do that as one concatenated string as part of the certificate string. And so you could do this with the begin and end certificate tags and then immediately follow that with begin and end private key tags. Thank you for watching. That's all we have on certificate management. Uh, for, for more information, you can visit the Redfish standards page or, or go to the Redfish developer hub.